Okay, let's get started. The first thing you're going to need to do is go, go on Google and find yourself um, a nice large scale shot, high resolution shot of a city scene, street scene. Uh, normally, if you can, it would be best if you get it from a slightly raised perspective, like maybe the photo was taken from a third or fourth floor window. So you're looking down the street, there's perspective in it. And it also helps if you have things that are more apparently in the foreground for depth perception purposes and stuff fading into the background. Okay, go to Photoshop and load in the image. Now here I'm using a photograph from uh, the Boom Festival uh, 2008 in Portugal. Because as you can see, it has all the prerequisite elements in it. Uh, you have a, an area of foreground here. You see this here? Uh, fading it off into you know, a fairly detailed but long distance background. That's pretty much perfect. Okay, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Edit in Quick Mask mode on the far left in your Tools palette and turn it on. Then you want to make sure, just above it, that the Gradient tool is also active. Up in the top bar, you want to make sure that Reflected Gradient is selected. Go to your picture, take your cursor and hold down your Shift key, either Shift key, and put a Quick Mask area over Actually, I don't like that one. Let's try again. Put a quick mask area over the area that you want the camera's eye, if you will, to focus on. Once you're vaguely happy where that is, go to the left, to the bottom of the tool bar, and hit uh, quick mask off to put it back in what they call standard mode. Now, as you can see, it's giving me the little marching ants lines, and that's exactly what we're after. We go up to the top and click on filter, go to blur, down to lens blur. And that's pretty good. Can you kind of see what's happened there? See, the people in the foreground have become a lot sharper, and they're the only focal point on the entire photograph. I'm happy with that. So, click OK. Then, I'm using a, an Apple machine, so Command and D for deselect. But I think it says it's Shift D on Windows machine. I believe that's right. OK, the next thing you want to do is go to Image, Adjustments, and Hue Saturation Controls, and turn them on. And what this is doing, go to saturation. Now what you're trying to do, basically toys tend to be much more highly coloured than reality for one reason or other. You know, they use high, high quality and glossy enamel paints for the paint jobs and a lot of model foliage in, say, train sets are spray painted, so they're very, very green. So basically don't be afraid to play with this. Turn it up to quite a high level. As you can see, I've gone very, very bright with it. And that'll do, around 30, 33, 35, something like that. Okay. Okay. Now the knack here is in the cropping. It's where you actually want to draw the eye to. So what I'll do is I'm going to crop around about there. because I don't want too much background. I want enough for the eye to think there is a background, but I want the eye to be more attracted to the focused foreground. Pretty much like that. And the last thing to do, and this again is all just trial and error, go to uh, adjustments, curves. Sorry, adjust, that was in uh, image adjustments curves. Click somewhere up around here, start to play with this. And what I'm trying to do is just, this is again, it's just up to you. It's, it's, it's to produce a pleasingly plastic kind of range of colors or gammas. I think that will do. And there you go. That's how to produce convincing tilt shift image photography. I think you'll agree that does look very, very fake. And therefore the, uh, the job is done. Have fun. There's an awful lot of different things you can do this with. I've had a lot of success lately with um, city streets. I'm a bit of a fan of using Tokyo. This was Taipei. Let's find the one I was addressing. <laughs> uh, yes, a Berlin Bridge. I think you'll agree that looks rather strange. Again, like a model toy set. Toy Town. But anyway, I could, do, I could do this for hours and hours. Have fun and get back to me if you need any tips. This is Van Zan signing out.